How about some pretty ice talk, huh? Yeah, it's very timely, Jacob. I gotta give you that. <laughs> no doubt you about planned that. planned this out perfectly. He knew. Somehow he knew, uh -huh. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's but it all about? It's about ice discs and ice jams on rivers. So talking about a different kind of ice than what we've seen falling from the sky with freezing rain and accumulating on surfaces the past couple of days. But ice discs, these can take the internet by storm. They were posted on social media by Travel North Dakota, uh, captured by Roxanne uh, earlier this month in December. It kind of went viral on Facebook with these circular discs of ice, also called pancake ice, on the Red River earlier this month. It's really cool to see this site. You can see the little bit of a raised rim around them, a whole field of them, kind of off to the side here on the Red River where the flow wasn't as strong so you need just the right conditions to form these ice discs you need the right combination of temperature wind and waves calm enough conditions you can kind of see where the main body of the Red River was flowing around it this was kind of in a, a barrier area protected area where the river was flowing a, a lot calmer um, and it was able to form these ice discs when you had that temperature just below freezing and there's some really interesting meteorology behind how these can form. This was also captured uh, a couple weeks, uh, just over a week ago, December 22nd, Apple Creek in Bismarck uh, by Bill. He sent me these photos of these ice disks on Apple Creek. Again, these circular small disks of ice in, in this case with a little bit of a rim on the edges. It happens when you have that moving water breaking off pieces of ice that are spun and slowly sheared into these smooth circles from surrounding barriers or other pieces of ice. They can vary in size from just a few inches to multiple feet wide. And in an extreme case, this was a viral photo from a couple years ago from NBC, the 100 yard wide swirling disc of ice in Maine. And again, kind of on a bend of the river here where the water is flowing a little bit calmer we can kind of see the main flow of the river around it but this was actually swirling around in that section of the river pretty cool stuff here so again you need the gentle flow not much wind and that temperature around 32 degrees to form slush or kind of a thin layer of ice on the surface of the river it gets broken up and pushed back together and rotates thanks to the flow so it's pretty rare, short-lived. You can have these on the river one day, the next day they could be gone. That swirling current, we call them eddies, which also happen in the atmosphere with the air, they kind of cause the collisions of the ice, and that can allow them to grow and get round edges, and those rims, they form when you have the splashing water around the disks that freeze and kind of form that lip. So as they slowly melt, the cold water underneath the disks can cause them to kind of rotate slowly. Usually you need a bit of a bigger ice disc for that to form. You can sometimes get these just before the whole river freezes up. And right now there's no ice on the Missouri River with our unseasonably mild temperatures we've had so far this fall and winter. The uh, Missouri River ice formation in Bismarck usually happens between early December and mid-January. Remains in place for about 86 days on average. As that stationary ice forms on the river, it usually causes the levels of the river to rise between two and six feet. And closer to spring, when we get temperatures to warm again, the ice resists the river's flow less. There's less kind of friction underneath as the underside of that sheet of ice, the whole ice, uh, the whole river is frozen over at that point, the underside gets smoother through melting and the river can return to its open phase. But the other topic I'm gonna to talk about today is ice jams. And when that ice is broken apart, it can form ice jams and cause some pretty serious flooding. So the warmer weather begins breaking apart the sheet of ice when the ice is all uh, frozen up. The ice flow, and yes, this is spelled correctly. I had to check that. New word for me. It's kind of a sheeting, uh, a sheet of ice that's moving down the river that uh, pushes downstream all these big pieces of ice, and it can become lodged in tight or curved areas of the river, causing some pretty bad flooding because of that blockage to the river and the flooding happens upstream of the ice ice jam. So we had some even this past spring with all the snow melt, uh, near record setting snowfall we had. This was west of Mandan on the Hart River uh, a couple years ago in Cartwright, North Dakota, uh, in March of 2018, 2019, March. So again, happens in the springtime when you have all that snow melt and the ice breaking apart on the river. 
Cannonball River there, and then the Hart River, you can kind of see how the ice flow wasn't going into the Missouri here, so it blocked up the whole river and caused all those ice jams this past April. On the Missouri River, they can occur when a tributary dumps its ice into the Missouri, and if it has its own ice load, the ice can jam up, it kind of doesn't have a way to escape, everything's just blocked up with friction and the different shaped pieces of ice and that causes the water to rise sometimes rapidly like we saw in 2009. So the chunks of ice were actually blasted that spring uh, when the Missouri River was uh, flooding parts of Bismarck in an effort to open a channel so that the water could be released downstream. Uh, that caused about 1,700 people to be evacuated from that flood. But you can kind of see the ebbs and flows of the Missouri River here each spring spiking because of the river freezing up. And sometimes with the major ice jams, like in 2009, you can get those really bad uh, floods to happen nearby. So some interesting topics here with ice jams and sometimes preceding the rivers freezing up when temperatures are just right, the current of the water is just right in, the, in, these, in these rivers, you can get the pancake ice or those ice disks that are really cool to photograph and we thank our viewers for sending in some of those photos. It is cool to see those, it is right? Cool. It's like snow rollers. Yes. Oh, have you done one <laughs> on that yet? Discs no. <laughs> are cool. The ice jams, not so much. No, or, remember yeah. that? Remember? I do remember that 2009. Oh, that no was good. a bad one. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to see that again. Jacob, great stuff as always. Yes. You're welcome. Thanks Thank a lot. You, Jacob.